Season 6 of 2K23 is out, and I got the best dribble moves for you guys to cook up this season. How are y'all boys feeling about Season 6, bro? Personally, I just feel, I'm, I'm grateful, bro. I'm grateful that it's not like the last two seasons. Your boy, I don't know if I'm hitting 40, but that badge pattern do look good to me, bro. Let me know how y'all feel about it, though. I'm gonna showcase the animations that are on my 6-1 point guard. This is my 6-1 guard right here. And anybody 6-5 and up, you still wanna watch this video because some of these moves you can actually get on your player. Real quick, no limit game. Y'all been going crazy. Pete that sub bro. If you're not part of no limit game, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the family. You're gonna definitely enjoy your time here. Top tier streams, videos, all that good stuff. Also, hit that like button right now if you guys put cereal before your milk. I'm just hoping and assuming that everybody in here does that. If you put milk before your cereal, you're definitely different. But hey, hit that like button too, bro. It makes a world of a difference, bro. Helps the videos go out there and all the good stuff. Now, unfortunately, bro, 2K decided not to add too many more animations to this game. I feel like if we're looking through like all the new stuff, like there's no new like real dribble style. They have a couple cool size up escapes. I firmly believe that they should just release all the dribble moves on the first day of 2K. Like they keep trying to make the game more anticipated, like with the animations coming out. But sometimes they wait so long to put out a pretty cool animation that we have to wait all year for. So it's just like, you know what I mean? That's my personal take on this. Do not screenshot. I know some of y'all probably skipped here. Do not screenshot this because these are not in my animations. If I caught you skipping, bro, you gotta hit that like button now, bro. I just caught you lagging, bro. What are you doing? Alright, so boom, we're gonna go to the dribble style first, man. First things first, I feel like we all notice anybody that played 2K all year should know that Michael Jordan is the best dribble style in 2K. It doesn't get better than this, for real, for real. The only thing close to it, I would say, is John Morant. And some people say Gabby Williams, but let me tell you, this size up is overrated. I know a lot of people, a lot of tall guards like to use Gabby Williams if they cannot get a 75 people ball, bro. But if you don't have a 75 people ball, I would either go with Embiid or Pro. Pro and Embiid are really the best two alternate ones under 75. But if you guys have a 75 ball control or speed with ball, I meant you want to use Michael Jordan. It's easily the fastest one, and you will notice it changes all your dream moves, speed, and all that good stuff. Now for the size up escape. Now I'm gonna give you guys mine for the small guard. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a separate dream moves video for like tall guards with like low ball handle or people that are trying to make it work. You know what I mean? But for the people capable of it, bro, I will say Steve Francis is the best size up or uh, signature size up in the game. It's the fastest one for sure, and it gives you nice combos you can do like through the legs or behind the back. Anybody that is able to use this, I will tell you this. This is my favorite one to use. If I were to give an alternative, bro, I will say De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is really good. I know some people like to dribble like a tall guard on small builds. So for all those people like that, De'Aaron Fox is a really cool alternative to use. And I feel like it gives you kind of similar animations. Obviously, Steve Francis is better, but De'Aaron Fox gives you pretty similar animation. For the size of the skate package, small guards, you definitely want to use Trey Young. I know everybody can't get it, but if you have a 92 ball handle, Trey Young is my personal favorite one to use. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this on like a tall ISO build. Like I said, I'm gonna have a separate one for y'all. But I feel like people that watch me are kind of three hunches right we like to shoot the three ball that's that's what we take pride in that no limit gang you know what i'm saying but trey young is really cool i feel like trey young gets you a lot of good animations to help you get open for three it gives you a lot of quicker more unexpected moves that'll help you get open way easier to shoot that three ball and really just get an open shot you just want to get an open shot most importantly so trey young i would say is the best escape a good alternative though is kevin durant i can't even catch you kd moving like that at seven feet tall is crazy but you also get the some of the animations that trey young get like the explosive behind the back and also the walkout size up whatever you want to call it it's like a little escape you guys are about to see that move right there that move right there you just seen is um my favorite part about the kd size up it's like trey young but you get that move right there and it's a big difference maker it helps you get open like crazy but if i had to go one or the other i'm going with trey young i feel like the moves are just kind of faster and you can combo up better with it moving cross there's a lot of good options like any i say i say any of these that i have um bought are really good but i say russell westbrook is the most overpowered moving crossover you guys see russell westbrook's just the blow by it it's crazy but yeah quit that westbrook bro helps you get like nice crab animations and just buy your defender even when you have no stand bro it's insane now i personally know duties but moving behind the backs are pretty cool i would say um if you guys can get damian lillard if you have a 90 ball handle if not of course if not you can go with like something like a zach levine you don't you won't really do these often like you used to do these back in the day like crazy you won't do these often at all not not much to really notice it so whatever movement behind the back you choose it won't hurt you movie spin that spin that the cheesers be doing all like this stuff bro you want to rock with basic there's no better spin than basic there hasn't ever been a better spin than basic ever except in the past when it was pro 4 i think it was pro 4 if i'm not mistaken 2k ogs correct me on that if i'm wrong but moving spin you want to rock with basic bro it's the most glitchy one it helps you spin back to the three point line that move that you see iso players do it yeah yeah you know what i'm talking about put that basic on bro it's gonna change your life moving has the another thing i don't really do too often but i will say if you guys want to like i, I personally use larry bird so this legend you know what i'm saying so this legend but i will say the larry bird is a pretty cool has i feel like it doesn't make you do too much and that's what i like i don't want to get ripped like with like a zach levine has it you see how he holds the ball in the air for like two seconds someone could rip that for real the larry bird is straight to the point he does a little hezzy and then he's out you know what i'm saying so it won't change any animations for real unless you do like an actual hezzy but i say larry bird's cool go with it now for the moving step back you have like really like a few options so normal personally is my favorite one because you can come down the court and just like do a nice steady slide it like literally changes your direction i'll show you guys in the tutorial but you literally could just come down the court and do a nice move and go crazy with it so i would say if you guys want to like experiment with it go with normal and just try running down the court and flicking the right stick down like you're gonna like notice the change of the direction all that is just crazy but if you're trying to step back like to the three-point line let's say you're running to the paint and you want to do like a step back to get to the three-point line you want to use luca johnson luca, luca is probably the second best step back i feel like it's one a one b like one one is more so for a dribble move and 
and the other one is help you to step back to the three-point line so up to you like i said i'm rocking with that normal because it helps me come down the court without getting ripped and trapped by these lockdowns bro they be on heel last but not least although this is not an actual dream move bro the hop jumper is very important some use it for a jump shot but i would say this is a really good move to actually get open for yourself so if you're under 6'5 bro you want to put in this kyle Lowry. this move literally is like a giant step back but it helps you like fly away from your defender not only this but it also gives you like a nice speed boost glitch so i, I like i said i'll show you guys an actual dribble tutorial y'all gotta see at this video by the way kyle Lowry is the best one in the game by far but if you can't get kyle Lowry, i would personally go with either like devon booker or like a james harden both those help you create a little space like you can do it and then cancel out of it and run out of it again and it's crazy that's why i count this as a dribble move bro kyle Lowry, bro you can do a little hop and then literally run out of it and get yourself an open shot or dunk now i'm at the dream record man i want to show you guys just a little bit of controller cam gameplay of you know what i'm saying me dribbling and using these animations so y'all let me know if y'all want some more stuff like this because i feel like some of the moves i could tell you how to do but i want to kind of like show you guys me doing them live so i'm kind of just going to be cooking up i mean i'm not going to get hyped over cooking up an ai you know what i'm saying but i want you guys to see visually kind of what i'm doing because boy can cook your boy can really cook up something you know what i mean but to see it live and how i'm doing it live i hope i just hope this helps you guys out let you guys can let me know some feedback in the comment section but this is a study slide i was telling you guys about this is the this is the normal step back so look so with lucas step back you can kind of step back to the three-point line but with this move you can change your direction really fast and it lets you come down the court like crazy you guys see how i'm just by him like i don't he can't even he can't really get in front of me it's crazy because he might expect me to go one way that are it, and i just clicked up an ai mind you if it's an actual defender and you know how people play like right and left on defense sometimes if the defender's playing my right you see how he's playing my right low key i can go this way then go back to the right you know what i'm saying it just lets you change your direction so easily and smooth is that a fade hey now that's crazy i think the j cole court's a pretty good spot to practice dribble moves because you know there's no my court in this game bro i don't know why next gen doesn't have my court to keep it a band bro I, I i truly don't understand but this is so helpful to really just practice on what you're trying to work on what you're trying to get nice uh when the combos and everything pretty cool and everything i thought i would dedicate this video to people that had like high ball handles slash smaller builds like more dribble like builds like six nines they can dribble don't get it twisted but like six nines are like kind of like the rim running the rim running air right to where they they do moves like stop and go moves like you know what i'm saying they do stop and go uh to get to the rack but with guards like these you really got to cook up and get your dribble moves open i'm gonna drop a separate video for y'all like dedicated to like getting by your defender and like you know taking advantage of mismatches oh my gosh they're on my heels bro chill 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 but yeah like i didn't know how to do the steady slide at first i'm not gonna lie but it's really simple you used to like walk up the court and flick the right stick down just just like that you know what i'm saying that's just that's just the start of it you can incorporate this into your little chains you can like do all the moves that you know right i did i did a lot of this stuff you guys see are in the dribble tutorials that i posted but let's see i'm complimenting up right i'm running do a little steady slide switch my direction that's so bro that literally just confuses your defender every single time it's crazy but yeah bro i, I would just hope that like um putting this live like live commentary and live gameplay of me comboing up a lot of stuff kind of helps you guys out like if you guys can you guys can slow my, slow the video down too if you guys are confused on how i'm doing it um but i thought i would just do it live i feel like i dribble better live than actually explaining that's that's me though i'll drop an actual dribble tutorial don't get it twisted but i think if i can show you guys me doing it live bro i think that'll be a little bit easier for the boy i just want to show you guys some of the dribble moves i'd be doing hey bro if y'all want the dribble tutorial then i gotta prove it to me and show you that you guys really want it 100 likes bro it's out immediately appreciate y'all making it to the end if you made it to the end i rock with you heavy y'all really like my brothers and sisters bro for real there's a lot of stuff to expect this season but check out this video if you want to become a better 2k player for season six man see y'all there